The game of Bang is played on character sheets, and you play with character cards, class cards, and Bang cards. The class cards tell you what your objective is in the game, and usually it's a secret. Next, each player is given a character card, which has special rules for each player. This card also shows you how much health your character has, which is represented by bullets. The character sheet also gives you a starting weapon, which can be replaced with certain bang cards. Now when it comes to classes, there are four. First there's the sheriff, and the sheriff is the only class that is revealed all throughout the game. Everyone knows who the sheriff is. Next up, there is the renegade. And the renegade is kind of a character that wants to be sheriff, so his objective is to be the last man standing. Next up, there are the outlaws, and all they need to do is eliminate the sheriff, and they win. And in a five player game, there's also a deputy. And the deputy's goal is to keep the sheriff alive till the end of the game. Now if there are six people playing, you want another outlaw, and seven players means there's two deputies as well. So let's take a look at some of the bang cards in the deck. At the beginning of your turn, you always take two cards from the bang pile. And during your turn, you can only play one type of card once. The prison card makes someone else lose a turn. A weapon card can be laid down to improve your range. Bang cards allow you to take away an opponent's point of health. Alternatively, a missed card allows you to save yourself from losing a point of damage. And if you have taken a point of damage, you can always play a beer card to regain that health point. A panic card can be played on another character, so they have to give you a card. A dueling card causes the other player to have to play a bang. If they play a bang, then you can play a bang. And the last person to play a bang card wins. And their opponent loses a health point. At the end of your turn, you can't have more cards in your hand than you have health points. So, discard if you have more. So let's play a turn as an outlaw. Okay, our goal, of course, is to kill the sheriff, who is two players away. Fortunately, we have a weapon that can reach two players away. However, the sheriff has a Mustang, which means that other players view him at a distance of plus one. So, he actually counts as three. So let's draw and see what we can do. We got dynamite and a scope. Yes, the scope is the best card we could have pulled right now. Because this allows us to aim one farther. It subtracts the distance between you and your target. So the sheriff goes from three to two again. So we can hit him with one of our bang cards. Next, we'll play the dynamite card. And dynamite cards are very interesting creatures. They force a character to have to flip over a card. And if the card's value in the lower corner is a two to nine of spades, then it explodes and they lose three health points. If it's not, then they pass it to the next player. And on their turn, they have to draw as well. When it gets back to you, you too have to draw a card to see if it blows up on you. The dynamite travels around the table until someone explodes. So that's the basic gist of Bang. Now as a bonus tip, sometimes just messing with these tokens it just isn't worth it. So what my friends have done is they've come up with a way to play without the sheet. You just take a unused character card and look, it has five bullets on the back. So if you have a four bullet character, you just place it so it covers up one of the bullets. And as you get hurt, you cover up more bullets until you're eliminated. So give it a shot. And until next time, this is Hogwash, over and out.